Hi, I'm Peter the Red, and I'm going to teach you how to attach or reattach heads that have come off for your arrows. So what you're going to need is an old pair of pliers. I use high temperature hot melt glue. Um, high temperature is super important, not the random hot melt glue. It has to be high temperature. There's much more expensive versions of things to attach it, like ferrule tight and other things that are specially designed and priced to be able to, but I have had good success with high temperature hot melt. Um, you're going to need some water. Um, I use a propane torch. This is not medieval, but it's what I use something to light it. Some people have the clickers. I don't. A block of wood. And I'll show you how I use the block of wood. You're going to need a damp paper towel and the appropriate sized head to repair your arrow. So I'm going to show you here. Here is an arrow that has a head. I'm going to show you some heads. Okay, so there's different heads here. Is this the right one? It looks about right. Is this the right one? Hmm, it looks about right. And there's this one. Oh, that's a little short. It's small. It's a lighter, lighter head. So this one is not it. Now I'm going to show you the arrow here. This is the same arrow as this set, so I'd like to match my old set. So let's try this one. This one is too big. It is for a wider arrow. And this one, just right. So. This one is a 5 16th head, so I would like to replace it with a one uh, that matches, and this one is too big, so it is for a bigger one. Even though they look about the same, it is slightly wider, so I'm not going to use the wider one. So, all right, now we're going to heat up the um, hot melt glue next. So, okay, here we go. All right, the next thing I do is I would like to light the torch. So I put it on very gently and you can hear a hiss there. And then if you put it on too hard, it'll blow out the flame, so and then bring the flame down so you have a little flame. You don't want to overdo. A little, a little more. There. So I like to arrange my stuff so that I have it in my right hand. I'm a righty. So I move things to where it's convenient to pick things up. So I have my pliers, my cloth, or my paper towel, damp, and I used my right hand. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wave it in the flame near the high blue part, but for this part I'm just going to heat it up and I don't want to burn it. I don't want to melt it completely, I just want to warm it up. So I'm waving it over. And then I'm going to put a blob on and smear it all the way around and I do that with all the arrows that I'm about to repair because I have this now hot. So it's hot and melted and I would do it on all of the ones that I'm about to do. And then I move on to the next phase. I can put this down. Now I have an excess of glue on here. So next thing I'm going to do is take the one that I've designated as the right size. I hold it in my not very nice pliers 
this is my junker pliers, and then I hold it by the tip. So think of this as a metal thing you're heating up, and if you hold it higher up, you're going to take all the heat away from it and put it into the pliers. You don't want to do that. So I hold it by the tippy tip, and then I'm about to start. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to talk about things. I'm going to heat this up and I pick the part of the flame that is the bright blue part and I'm going to put it into that and then I'm going to get all sides of the tip and if you start to see it glowing it's probably a little bit too hot. So I think it's about ready right about now. So what I'm going to do is in this hand I'm going to get ready to put this vertical and I'm going to put this together and it should bubble and hiss. There it goes. It's bubbling and hissing. I'm pressing down very firmly while squeezing and rotating. Now I'm putting this down and I'm taking this on a clean wet spot and wiping the excess glue off. And watch out you don't burn yourself. Now I'm pressing down firmly. I then pick this up from the base and quench it and you should hear a nice little hiss. I only quench it up to the top of the metal. I don't want to wet the wood much. So there. Now I want to set this aside. It's quenched and it's it's fairly safe to the touch but I, it's warm and it will um, come off if you start fiddling with it. So I'm going to set that aside. I'll do one more so you can see how that goes. So this one, my daughter's arrow, I told her I'd repair it. Now I brought the arrow without a head. I have no idea what her head size is, so I'm guessing it was this one. And forgive me if it's not. But do I do this first? No, I don't have any glue on it. So I have I to want, heat this up again. Want to check to see if it fits? I know it fits because I already checked and I just made a guess. It's a 5 sixteenths also. So that's now cool, so I'm going to have to heat it up again. So waving it around, I could show you what happens if you do it slightly wrong. Perhaps I'll do that in another video. So then I, I now have it hot. It's smoking a little bit. This has got oodles on it. I've now smeared it on there. I will pick up this head. And I want you to be careful what you pick up. If you have heated something up before, assume like a blacksmith that anything that on the ground that you don't know about is hot. So be careful. Don't burn yourself. And one other thing is the water, not only is it something to quench in, it's also to stick your hand in or your fingers in if you burn yourself. You have first aid right there. So something that happens when you heat this up, you are heating all the oils from manufacture up. You're expanding the metal. You are heating up the air inside. Um, and so when you put this on, I'm going to press down. It should bubble up. Yes. I am now going to take a clean spot, wipe this off. I'm pressing down, wipe off. I hear a hissy sound. I'm pressing down, pressing down, pressing down. Pick it up while pressing it together and I didn't hear a hiss. So that is not a perfect one. It didn't quench. I quenched too much or I took too long and I was talking. So timing is important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take it off. It might come off by itself. Let's find out. It does. So, and I'm glad I'm showing you mistakes too. But I need the hiss to know I did it right. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put more glue on. And I'm going to show you, one, I've shown you how to know that you did it right. And if you did it wrong, it will come off. Whoopsie. 
There's a mistake. I heated it up too much and it burned a little bit. But this has plenty of glue. I'm going to use the same head. Not touching it. I am not touching it because any heads on the ground are assumed hot and that one was. So I'm going to heat this one up a little bit more in the blue part of the flame, the bright blue. That's good and hot. And this one now has glue on it and it also has water on it. So I want to get the water off and out. So I'm heating up the inside of, of it. I want to see a little bit of a glow now because I've done so much and it didn't work. See that? That is the burning of the glue. It has glue in it. Okay, so I think it is now plenty hot enough. I'm going to press down. Get in there. Press down. I'm hearing a bubbling. This is nice and hot now. I have expanded the air inside. I am wiping this down. Got lots more out. I'm going to press down some more. Pick it up. Hissy noise. Good. This one should be good. And I'm going to put it back down, press on, and then set it aside. Now if you get too much glue on the outside, pick it off with your thumbnail or something afterwards. I'm going to leave it where it is right now. Um, and they should be good once you've picked off the excess, but the, this should wipe off and you can see it has glue on it but you want to pick a clean spot next time you wipe. You don't want to wipe the old glue on top of it. It will just smear and then you'll be doing a lot of picking. But what I've done is I've heated up the metal, got all the oils off, all the water off, heat up the inside and, it, and the hot air, when you seal it, you, you twist the wood, I hope you saw that, and that will smear everything around so it makes a nice seal and then when it cools off, it compresses the metal and then acts as a nice vacuum to hold it in. And the quenching will just compress the metal and hopefully it's a nice seal so it'll suck the wood into it and it'll be tight in multiple ways. Not only glued, but vacuumed to suck it in and compressed so it'll form fit to the metal, uh, the metal to the wood. And if you heat it up too much, you'll get a little burning on the wood. A little bit's okay, a lot is not good. So I will um, do another video, and I'd like to get feedback on all my videos, that would be great. But I will do more videos, one to replace Knox. Um, so this, this one right here has a broken knock. I'll do that next. Thank you.